confidence in me to be able to hold the rings for an hour and not look at that. talking about something that Dave and I were talking about yesterday, uh, which is you guys, how great of a family we have. Dave and I were going to get gas yesterday, and we just we started having like a really heart heart conversation about how blessed we are. You guys are awesome, and we love you guys. I have so many friends that are like, oh my gosh, it's the holidays. I have to go spend time with my family. When we, when the holidays come around for us, it's the best time of the year. We're the happiest people ever. All we want to do is spend time with all of you guys. And we love you guys so much, and we're so happy you guys got to come out here to California and have the greatest weekend ever. So thank you for coming out here. We really appreciate it. Um, but on to why we're here. These two. <laughs> so, I, of course, am Dave's little brother, so I wanted to start off by basically bragging about this guy. <laughs> so I created a list of all the awesome things about Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to read this list. So, uh, starts off, my brother. Everyone can look at him. <laughs> he looks like a six foot five movie star. <laughs> he has been mistaken for a six foot five porn star. <laughs> more than all of your brothers. <laughs> My brother is sculpted like a Greek god. <laughs> and, uh, I can't read this with Dave. I can't read your handwriting on this one. <laughs> I know, and he's the most caring person I know, and I love him to death, and uh, I've known him for a decently long time, <laughs> and uh, so I thought I'd share a story uh, about him that shows how awesome the Dave is, and uh, so I thought the story that I tell is the last time that I got in a big fight with him, so uh, <laughs> it was the last time I ever fought with him, actually. Um, I don't know if you remember this story, but it really sticks out in my head, because you're awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, we're at Dale Hollow, and some of our family was all this? I think we were playing like a card game or something. And if you don't know, for all the, the hills who don't know, we are very competitive. Uh, and maybe I was losing it. I don't know, but somehow this got into a huge argument. And we were just so mad at each other. And I remember at one point, I was so mad, I just, I just left the room. And I, just, I was just so mad at Dave. I was so, and and it, was, it was crazy. And I think maybe, not even a minute later, I'm just out of the room. Dave bursts into the room and just gives me like the biggest hug in the world. After we've been like at each other's throats. And he just told me how much he loved me. And that he, he's like, Tony, I never want to fight with you ever again. And, uh, <laughs> David's fault. <laughs> and Dave's just coming to me and just basically telling how much he loves me and how, like, we're family. We shouldn't be fighting. And that was the last time I think I ever fought with my brother. <laughs> I think it's awesome about Dave because it just shows that 
He's the most awesome person in the world. He keeps our family together. He's the nicest person, and he just makes us all so happy. <laughs> and so, Danielle, I think you're the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make you the happiest woman for the rest of your life. And today, I've looked up to you my whole life, man. I love you so much. You're the greatest guy in the type of dad. <laughs>